We are Sorted, a group of mates from London exploring the newest and best in the world of food whilst trying to have a few laughs along the way. <laughs> we've got chefs, we've got normals, and a whole world of stuff for you to explore, but everything we do starts with you. Hello, this is Jamie and I'm Ben. Now, a few months ago, a few of us went to Dubai. I didn't get to go. And we tried to eat 36 dishes in 36 hours and we succeeded. We then came back and said, which one of those 36 dishes should we try and recreate in the studio? And you picked the most difficult one. There, there it is. The food, food. And then this one. Yeah. I don't know what that is. This is kanafa. It's made by spreading coloured ghee over the top of a big Watch this pan carefully. and then putting like little pastry noodles over it and then cheese goes on top. That was so vague. Like little pastry like noodles on it? Special Palestinian cheese that these guys use. And the cheese just kind of starts to melt. And then what you do is you flip it and then you cook the bottom of the cheese as well. So the cheese becomes super duper stringy and then syrup all over the top of it. It's amazingly sweet. It's finished with pistachios and it looks amazing. This is the thing I hate about voiceovers. You're like, just, just, just summarise briefly what it's all about. And you glaze over all the details. I've never tasted anything like that before in my life. I had never tasted anything like that before in my life. The chef made it look very easy in I that know. kitchen. So and easy. You looked very happy whilst you were in the kitchen. Wait till you see what pan we're going to use. We're going to be on Spanish news again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> you have a recipe. I wrote a recipe because I was that nervous. All right, but does this mean that you've tested it? No. I think first we're going to put the sugar syrup on, which is going to be flavoured with orange blossom. You can also do it with rose water and some lemon. And then we're going to colour the ghee with orange food colouring. I'll, I'll rub some ghee. Rub? Yep. It's going to take a lot. I mean, we could go bold and put some red colouring in there. Could definitely make or break this. <laughs> step one is colour some ghee, and we can't even do that. You do the next step, I'll keep going on this. We've got our sugar syrup. It's going to heat up, it's going to simmer for a while until it just kind of thickens a little bit. Then the orange blossom's going to go in. Or rose water. Or rose water. In the meantime, you can do your thing. My thing. Your thing. If you hadn't noticed, it's a paella pan. We know. You're welcome. It's wrong. <laughs> you could make some great burritos in this though, couldn't you? This is not on the heat yet, by the way. We're just, we're just wiping. This is ca cante 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 I think it's shredded phyllo. I think that's what it's described as. This is Greek. So I, I presume from the visuals originally that it was noodles. So he didn't do this bit, but you're supposed to like, I, I don't know, oh, like wait. shred it like that. I think I'm happy with that. And then cheese. So put it all over first and then start scrunching it in. Sugar syrup's had 10 minutes. We're gonna add in some of our orange blossom. Teaspoon. Oh, that is delicious. What is it, 200 grams of ricotta? Yes. And my recipe that yes. might work or might not. I definitely want stringiness, so yeah. mozzarella. Ricotta, I guess, creaminess? But I really couldn't find any of the proper Palestinian cheese. So what he can do is he can, he knows he's got to get 300 grams of mozzarella. He knows that he had 200 grams of ricotta. So if that goes to 500, Barry, then he can use maths to say that, that he's got the right amount. So how much you got left to go, Barry? It's a lot of cheese, isn't it? Oh. That's a straight answer, isn't it? So I'm thinking the ricotta's gonna hold all the mozzarella together. And it's kind of like, a bit like that texture that we saw in the video. I think we're gonna need a lot more. Okay. For coverage. That kind of thing. We've got the induction hob because it's got a bit more heat to it, and we're gonna have to like move it around constantly. Steam already coming through. Is that steam or smoke? Yep. <laughs> Am I smelling burning or what? Ah! <laughs> you burnt it. How Did you not you? see me lift it up and smoke come out of it? <laughs> I might need to open a window. 
It's black. It's black in the it middle. Is. It's definitely black in the middle. It's black as the night. Would you say that's salvageable? Uh. Flip it. One, two, three. Oh God. Oh. Could it be that because the hob is smaller than the pan, that we left it in one place for too long? 100p, mate. I think lower heat. Keep, keep it moving like that, lower heat. You might want to stop eating that, because we're going to do this again. Just save that. Should we just finish it? Yeah, finish it, and we'll see if we can improve on it. <laughs> oh no! Should we just cut it and see? I mean, it's not quite the same cheese pull, is it? When's Ben's been back? It'll be back in a couple of days. We should, we should do it then. Do you remember that bit in the video where I asked James how he knew how to make kanafa? Yeah. And he said, I'm a chef. <laughs> this bit. Mm. This bit. I don't know what I'm looking for here, so. Not that. That is not it. Oh. It all smells burned, doesn't it? It's it acrid. tastes smell, yeah. I'm not getting any orange blossom. <laughs> I think it's being masked by the, you know, charcoal. This time, we're going to top up the sugar syrup, do it exactly the same. We're going to top up the ghee, it was perfectly coloured. And then the cheese, we're going to use more mozzarella, like literally a little bit of ricotta just to bring it together, and hopefully that'll stop it leaking. And then I'm going to cook it properly. We're taking away the induction, we're doing it on an electric hob because we don't actually need a high heat. What we need is an even heat, and then we're going to turn it constantly on the even heat and hopefully it goes well. Oh, and we've changed the pans. We're gonna try it on these. These are serving trays, but they look really similar to the ones that we saw them made on. So, whatever. Right, do we want more for more even yeah. layer? Yeah. Cheese feels a lot drier now, a lot less ricotta, and a much better torn Mozzarella. Says the, the cheese, guy though. that chucked a massive chunk of mozzarella in last time. Yeah, so just checking what went wrong last time, everything, but the colour. The colour's good. And that was done by me, so therefore, I should take control over more of this recipe. I think we've done a thinner layer of pastry, just trying to get that much even rather than adding more. And again, a slightly thinner layer of cheese, you reckon? I reckon so, yeah. But also it helps that it won't be as wet. This could be the one, boys. This could be the one. Turn it on. I, if I were you, I'd Barry Taylor it. I'd turn all the hobs on. <laughs> I'd just work across all of them. I've turned this one on as well. So we're getting like this corner and this heating, and then I'm just going to turn it. I reckon this will be better than last time, but still not perfect. But we are looking for perfection, aren't we? Or are we looking for a pass? I think title-wise, it probably already says fail. <laughs> 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 okay, that's melting. I wonder if it needs more ghee around the outside. I geared the outside. He's literally pulled the pan away from us, so you have even more control. As we well know, there's only so much democracy and then really it's just yeah. a power game, isn't it? Mate, that's looking good. It's looking crispier. It's not sticking. The cheese is oozy. Are we thinking that it's time? Careful. Oh. Did you feel a drop? Did it drop? He did it! James! James, that actually looks like Kanafa. Chef. <laughs> <laughs> ah, careful! That might be good. So, less... Less syrup. Less syrup. Have you orange blossomed this? I have orange blossomed this. This might be far closer than we expected it to be. I don't think it couldn't get further away, could it, last time? <laughs> I think we could. <laughs> this has been a great video. I've enjoyed it a lot. Thank you. Oh, oh. It looks good. Is it going to taste the same? Go on, mate. Crunch. We're looking for an epic cheese pull. And for it to hold together. That too. And for it to taste amazing. Yes, 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 yes,
I think it's not as sweet as because we might have put too thin a layer of pastry on the bottom so it didn't have as much to soak in and the cheese is just not quite the same the cheese it the works mm. but it's not the same as what we had in dubai i like it i understand where it's going this is close it's really close but it's just not quite the same i have put a lot of extra syrup on that more, more, si more syrup helps it it does yeah mm. well done james you pulled that back Thanks for your help. Do you go through that much pain in every single recipe lab? That was particularly <laughs> stressful. That was one of hundreds of things we've had the great fortune of tasting in these videos over the last few months. What else have you seen us eat that you'd love to watch us recreate? Wagyu. Please, can we do Wagyu? Comment down below. Wagyu. To make sure that you don't miss anything that we upload, click the bell, make sure you get notified. Every Wednesday, every Sunday, four o'clock, we're here for your viewing pleasure. And we will be back on Sunday, so we'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs> As we mentioned, we don't just make top quality YouTube videos. No. We've built the Sorted Club, where we use the best things we've learned to create stuff that's hopefully interesting and useful to other food lovers. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a few days. Before I tell you what I think, 